In this quick tip, I'll show you how to use the After Effects 3D system with our products. When we set out to create 3D plugins for After Effects, one of the goals we had in mind was to keep things as, as simple as possible. In other words, to make our 3D plugins feel like they're already part of After Effects. So wherever possible, we interact right in the After Effects comp window, which is this region right here. In the timeline, we'll display effects controls like every other um, effects plugin, as well as in the what's called the effects control panel. So we've tried very hard not to impose any new UI notions, um, pop up new windows, uh, do things that basically you'll have to learn from scratch. Uh, again, wherever possible, we're trying to make this feel like it's part of After Effects already. And so if you're comfortable using After Effects, then our products should feel very familiar. I'd like to show you how uh, our products interact with the 3D environment in After Effects. So I'd like to just start a new composition. 1080 is fine. And what we'll do is we'll just create a new solid and we'll make it a little bit smaller than the composition size and white is fine. And then we can go ahead and add, we'll add Freeform Pro. What's important with uh, After Effects and 3D plugins like Freeform Pro or any other 3D plugins is that they really should reside on what is a 2D layer. A 2D layer is there by default. If you were to create a 3D layer, you click this little cube icon over here. Um, we don't want that. That's not the way that After Effects is built to accommodate 3D plugins. Uh, we'll get into a much more lengthier discussion later on about this, but right now suffice it to say that 3D plugins should really live in a 2D layer. So the next thing we want to do, uh, very simple, is to add a light. And this light um, is part and parcel of the After Effects AD 3D environment. Let's go ahead and use a spotlight so you can see that After Effects draws uh, a 3D spotlight in there and colors are 3D layer that is affected by Freeform Pro, a 3D plugin. Then the next thing we want to add is add a camera from After Effects. So that's camera, After Effects' own camera system. And if we go into the After Effects toolbar now, you'll see that if we select the camera tool, we can orbit around that layer and it reacts to the camera's point of view. So we see what the After Effects camera sees. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go in and use the selection tool or the uh, pointer tool and then you can grab the light and interactively change the lighting system. So this again all this to say is that all this stuff that is part of AE ties in. We hook into that with our 3D system so that they coexist properly. So if I were to go into the light here and I'm down here in the layer and double click on that and change the properties of the light, be it the cone angle, see that? The light, the After Effects light will react of course but so the light being cast on the 3D layer that Freeform Pro is on is also reacting accordingly. If I were to change that color of that spotlight to say a slightly pinkish or a salmon color in this case, then you see that that's affecting our surface. So the next thing we should look at is uh, 3D views and how we integrate with that in the After Effects 3D system. Currently, if you look at the bottom of your comp, we've got the active camera, which is there by default. Uh, if we go and look at the top view, you'll see that, well, we're not seeing much because there's only one light here and it's we're sort of like lighting the front of that. So let's select that light and let's duplicate that. And then we'll take that light and just reposition it so that we can light the back of the object. And let's go and look at the active camera again and make sure, actually, let's take a look at a right view and see where that's positioned. So it is flat, so you're not seeing much of the side, but now if we go back to the active view, we should be able to see both sides once we create a deformation or we manipulate that layer. After Effects 3D layers, when you select them by default, pretty much act the same way that we're seeing right now, with the exception that if 
we select the Freeform Pro plugin and we grab that grid that's drawn on it. This grid looks much like the mesh warp, the 2D mesh warp, but one of the things that Freeform does is that it creates a 3D mesh warp. So if we move that along the Z axis and then grab that camera and rotate it, you see that it's actually a 3D deformation. You see that bulge that we have here? We just created that. So this shows one of the features in Freeform Pro, the fact that we work in the composition window to make everything very interactive and very intuitive, and uh, how tightly we tie into the After Effects camera system. And we also show you how we tie into the viewports. The other thing that last thing we should look at is uh, like 3D programs, you can have multiple viewports. So this is the top, that would be the right. And when you select that viewport, you can actually go from top to active. And it's a great way to help you model. So if I go in on the right hand side and say, for instance, I want to go into the top view and then I grab that layer from the top view, select Freeform Pro and manipulate that, you see that it's reacting on the left hand side. If I grab the tangent and manipulate that, you see that we're getting the feedback over here on the left hand side. So that's it for now. We'll get into more advanced concepts as we move along in the series, but that's, uh, that's some of the basics of After Effects. 3D system and how 3D plugins like Freeform Pro and Shapeshifter tie into it. Thanks.